News first tonight. Tentative load shedding schedules have been issued every day this week since Monday, and they will continue into the weekend. Tim Blas McHenry takes a look at the current state of Guam's power system. Chemist unit number seven is still down. CCU Chairman Joey Duenas told PNC yesterday that he does not know when it will be back up. Meanwhile, GPA issued another round of tentative load shedding today that's expected to run through the weekend. But what is the state of Guam's island-wide power system? Well, let's take a look. Currently, 50% of Guam's six main or base load generators are either broken or unavailable. This includes the recently fire damaged Cabers 3 and 4 and Cabers 2, which is down for maintenance. When all six generators are working, GPA has 298 megawatts of base load generation. However, currently, the only base load generators that are working are Cabers 1, Mech 8, and Mech 9. This means that the heart of GPA's generation is only putting out 124 megawatts, 174 short of its full capacity. GPA's backup units are also in disarray. Temis, both Dedito CTs, and the Jigo CT are currently under repair or need repairs. This shorts GPA 101 megawatts from their five main backup generators. These backup generators are crucial because they pick up the slack when baseload generators are down, which is the case now. However, GPA still has some working backup generators. GPA's diesel units, which include the newly acquired Agreco units in Gigo, provide GPA with 71 megawatts. But that's still 9 megawatts short of its expected performance. All in all, GPA should have 498 megawatts when everything is working. Today, GPA only produces 214, which is 284 short of what it should be producing. That means GPA is producing less than 50% of the power it should be. At a time when each megawatt is valuable, how does solar fit into the picture? Currently, GPA has maintained that solar energy cannot help during peak hours because from 6 to 9 p.m., the sun is not up. Earlier this week, residents did experience load shedding during the day due to the issues with Mech 8 and 9, which tripped offline at 10 a.m. and 12 p.m. respectively. When GPA issues load shedding schedules, they typically start at 2 p.m., sometimes earlier. NRG, the operators of solar energy at Dundon, can contribute 25 megawatts, similar to what the long-delayed Phase 2 could contribute as well. As of now, there is no definitive timeline as to when GPA's system will be back to full capacity. The overhaul in Cabris 2 is expected to be done on Monday, only to have Cabris 1 go down for a new transformer shortly thereafter. PNC also spoke with Reno Manzano, general manager of the MEC units, and he says both MEC 8 and 9 are, quote, in serious need of a major overhaul as well. But they can't be overhauled until there is enough baseload generation. For PNC News, I'm Tim Blas McHenry. Although there are tentative load shedding schedules, it should be noted that they have managed to keep the power on during most of the scheduled load shedding times.